today, we're going to talk about the Hallmark Keepsake Harry Potter ornaments for 2020. So this year, Hallmark kind of did something a little bit unprecedented, and honestly, I applaud them for it. They brought out the Hogwarts Castle last year with the three interactive characters. So we had Harry, Ron, and Hermione, the Golden Trio, and they all interact with each other as well as the castle. And normally, if you don't get the ornaments the year they come out, you're out of luck unless you buy it off of eBay or something like that. Well, because they're releasing two new interactive ornaments to go with Harry, Ron, and Hermione in the castle, they're releasing Dumbledore as well as Hagrid, they actually brought the castle back as well as the Golden Trio. So if you missed out on getting the Hogwarts Castle Tree Topper or the three interactive ornaments from last year, you actually can still get them this year, which I think is amazing because normally, as I said, if you don't get it, too bad because you have one chance of getting it that year, and that's usually all you get. Really, really excited that they actually thought about the fact that maybe people missed out on getting the castle, and now that there's Dumbledore and Hagrid, that maybe people would want to get the castle. So I think it was very smart on their part to go ahead and say, you know what, we're going to bring them all back, so then that way, if everybody wanted the set of five, they can have it, as well as the castle and... um, They are just delightful, and I can't wait to get Hagrid. He doesn't come out until October, but I actually have the Dumbledore here today, and I have Harry, Ron, and Hermione from last year, and we actually didn't get to demo Hermione from last year because she was the October release, so I'm going to kind of show you how she interacts with the other two and the castle as well, and then we're going to show you how Dumbledore interacts with the castle. And then this year, the building Harry Potter ornament, last year was Weasley Wizard Wheezes, is Hagrid's Hut, and it is spectacular. So um, I'm going to open those up for you today. I'm also going to talk about the other Harry Potter releases that are coming later this year. So then that we'll kind of have an idea of all of the different ornaments and pieces you can get for your Harry Potter collection or Christmas. So let's go ahead and get into it. And if you haven't watched the video from last year, the castle, when you very first hit the button, starts to play Hedwig's theme. And because that's a copywritten piece, I don't want a copyright strike. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of speed through that. You'll see the beautiful colors that bounce off the castle while it's playing. I'll add some other music. And then once the characters begin to speak and interact with the castle, I'll go ahead and put that audio back on for you. Okay, so here is Dumbledore unboxed. And I am just going to tell you... The amount of detail on him is spectacular. His outfit is absolutely perfect. The texture on it is just like you would imagine it to be. And his little glasses are even metal. Um, Just really, really nice. So just like the other pieces, the Dumbledore retails for $29.99. And he does do things on his own as well as with the characters and the castle. Um, You're going to get the most interaction, obviously, when you have all of them with the castle, but he will do things on his own. So one thing to note is that you will need the interactive power cord. And just so you guys know, the Keepsake power cord supports up to seven ornaments. It's normally $14.99, but they run different specials on the interactive cord when you buy more than one interactive ornament. So that's something to just kind of think about. I think I got mine for a couple dollars even because I had bought a couple ornaments last year with the castle and they had a promotion going on. Um, So just something to look into at your local Hallmark store. But it does support seven ornaments and there's only going to be five interactive ornaments for this collection. So one cord will be enough to get you through all of them. So then that way you'll still even have a couple extra spaces in case they drop something else down the line. So if you want to have Dumbledore interact on his own with just the power cord, you would push this button here. Once they're all hooked together on the interactive cord with the castle, it's just automatically going to put it into the castle mode where they all interact with each other. So rather than try to show you exactly what he says on his own, I'm going to go ahead and let the castle play with the other three. So then that way we can see what scenes are added from when the golden trio are plugged in. And when Hagrid comes, we'll try to figure out what scenes get added in with him as well. And I think there's going to be some Hagrid and Dumbledore scenes that may not pop up right now um, just because they would need Hagrid to interact with it. So I'll be curious to see when all five are hooked up the full gamut of what goes through the castle performance. I plugged in our new Dumbledore, and um, we're going to go ahead and play all the scenes for the castle 
that have all four of the characters. Now, there will be scenes, I'm sure, that are added once Haggard gets attached, but um, he doesn't come out until October 3rd this year. So as soon as we are able to get him, I will do an update video and show you all of the completed scenes because there are only going to be the five characters for the castle. So it should give us our complete version of what the castle performance is going to be once we have Hagrid. But let's go ahead and see what they do. I wish to announce. The first years, please note that the Dark Forest is strictly forbidden to all students. Also, our caretaker, Mr. Filch, has asked me to remind you that the third floor corridor on the right hand side is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to die a most painful death. Thank you. When I call your name, you will come forth. I shall place the sorting hat on your head and you will be sorted into your houses. Hermione Granger? Oh no. Okay, relax. Mental, that one. I'm telling you. Ah, right then. Mm, right. Okay. Gryffindor! Draco Malfoy? Slytherin! It wasn't in Ronald Weasley. Ha! Another Weasley. I know just what to do with you. Gryffindor! <laughs> Harry Potter? Hmm. Difficult. Very difficult. Plenty of courage, I see. Not a bad mind, either. There's talent. Oh, yes. And a first to prove yourself. But where to put you? Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin, eh? Are you sure? Please. Anything but Slytherin. No. Better be... Gryffindor! Get yourselves out. Does it 
seem a bit quiet to you. The harp, it stopped playing. is Hagrid's hut and as you can see I have a little light in there it is able to be attached to a light string which I love and this is the fifth installment that they've provided in buildings for the Harry Potter collection so the first one was Ollivander's next was Gringotts then they did Honeydukes last year was Weasley Wizard Wheezes and this year is Hagrid's hut so it's super exciting that they keep continuing to bring out different buildings and landmarks from the Wizarding World so I love that this year they did Hagrid's hut and the detail on this is just stunning so they have his little pumpkins and the moss on his front door the little peaks on the roof are just gorgeous and the fact that it's a 360 piece is really cool so the light actually inserts into the bottom 
and it's just really well done. So this piece retails for $24.99, and like I said, you don't need to have the interactive cord for this or anything like that. This one just hooks up to the light strand on your Christmas tree. So besides all of the ornaments that you see in front of you here, there's also going to be, as I said, the Hagrid ornament, and that is going to be released on October 3rd. There's also going to be the third installment of the American Harry Potter book covers ornament that's got the really amazing 3D pop-outs. So we are going to have the Prisoner of Azkaban ornament. So that will come out later this year. Then there's also going to be this really amazing Hogwarts Castle tree skirt. So there's actually little lights inside the tree skirt that will illuminate all of the windows and they move and things like that. And I think maybe even some of the stars twinkle as well. Um, it is retailing for $99.99. Um, it does have some really great details around the outside edge. We have all four of the house names written. And then obviously it has some owls in the night sky with the Hogwarts castle. Um, let me know what you guys think about this tree skirt. Is this something you think I should pick up for my Harry Potter tree? I do love that I have mine in a cauldron right now but it may be kind of fun to have this tree skirt as well. And another option you guys can let me know if you'd be interested in is, I think I might be able to make a light up tree skirt for you guys. So let me know if that's something you guys would like to see me DIY as we get closer to Christmas. And just so you guys are aware, the Hogwarts Castle retails for $119.99. Harry, Ron, Hermione, Dumbledore, and Hagrid all retail for $29.99 each. And then Hagrid's Hut retails for $24.99. And I do believe they have a bundle package that will actually sell the Hogwarts Castle and all five of the interactive characters for one price. I will try to put links in the description down below to all of the different ornaments. So if you're interested in purchasing any of these, you can find those down below. And there you have it. Here are the Hallmark Keepsake 2020 Harry Potter ornaments. I think it's really great that they re-released the castle as well as the Golden Trio, and I can't wait to get Hagrid to see what the rest of the performance is going to be with the castle. And Hagrid's hut is so cute with its little light-up windows. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are these items that you might add to your Harry Potter collection or your Christmas tree? And if you guys like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so, and we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.